Hello everybody, welcome back. My name's Dacian and I'm here for Fantasy Revolution Gaming. Hopefully you saw the first couple videos, how to get the maps, how to get to new, new city, and that's it. This video is going to be pretty straightforward, nothing special, but we're going to unlock Rune Fencer. And all it is is basically NPC talking, so there's not too much, just a heads up. There is spoilers in this, so I did actually copy all the text, so... You know, if you don't want to see that, you know, turn away now. So, this quest starts off in East Adulin. Basically, there's nothing special, as I said. You don't need to fight anything, so... All you really need is a warp item to either get back. I'm actually going to walk there and back. There's not really anything to fight, so... You're pretty much safe, and also there's no monsters that attack you during it, so... It makes it really easy. I've already scouted it, so... Let's just get right to it. So, this is where you zone in, basically... We're going to be going right up behind that little statue. It's an uh, NPC. Let's see. His name is Octavian. He's going to be right on the staircase, actually going up on the left-hand side. But you do have to take a quick right up here by the statue before you can actually reach him. And he's just going to give you a cutscene and basically start you off to the quest. Uh, don't really want to say anything else at this point because I don't want to spoil anything. But basically from there we're going to be going to another place clicking on an item and then coming back but for now basically all you gotta do is come up here I don't know how much you guys have explored but in between videos I've been kinda running around just checking out the place this area looks awesome uh, they did a great job but Octavian should be right up here on your left he's right there really cool area actually and I'm just gonna bring it up on the map he's right underneath the bridge here so right underneath the waterfall. Um, talk to him and you're going to get a nice cut scene. I'll actually uh, quiet down so you guys can listen to this or read it for the first time or reread it again. I'll see you in just a couple minutes. Alright, so there it is. They actually tell you right where you gotta go, which is K7 and the uh, hunting grounds for this petal flower. I don't know about you guys, but when I first saw that Rune Fencer was coming out, I was super excited. This job has actually been one of my favorite jobs, along with Blue Beige, of all the Final Fantasy lines. So, I'm gonna be really excited to play this, especially just in the end game and, uh, you know, Void Watch and maybe even, you know, this year, see what else they do. I'm hoping to actually get away from that stuff, so maybe they'll come out with something that's relatively more entertaining in this new area. So anyways, to get to where we have to go, all you gotta do is go right outside town. All it is is basically go back down those stairs, go back out into West of Doolin, and then outside the city. Nothing crazy, there's not like any turns or anything, it's basically a straight shot, which I don't know if they 
did that through ease of uh, movement or what, but it's real simple. Uh, as I said, you don't need to worry about it aggressive mobs or anything like that so just go ahead and head right out inside the city you're gonna be uh... actually not even walking that far the maps that we just got are gonna be in great help and actually when i shot this video i messed up and i took a wrong turn which that map actually got me back on track so we'll actually see how awesome these maps are but from here basically go straight ahead you're gonna run right outside the city um... as i said nothing special uh, I'm on my thief. I do have the movement speed, so yeah. Let's see. Let's see what else. Basically, after I finish this, I'm gonna put up the Geomancer video. Um, I'm gonna be shooting that right after this, and hopefully doing the commentary and everything. I hope this guy is helping you out and basically getting everything that you need. Um, I'm trying to take it pretty slow and uh, walk through everything you need. Let me know if you guys like how the speed is or if you want me to slow it down or uh, anything like that so I mean from what I'm seeing it, it looks pretty good so far but you know hey I'm probably biased on my behalf but anyways uh, right outside the city here nothing special the same zone that you've probably gone in on about 50 times but eh, oh well I really can't wait to get that armor too <laughs> stuff looks really cool uh, but once this downloads I'm gonna pull up the map We'll actually be going to the first zone here, which is actually right off the right-hand side of this outpost that we saw as we came into the city. But, here we go. <coughs> Sorry about a little bit of a cough or anything. This change in weather, for some reason, affected me. I'm a little cold or something. I don't know. I got a cough. But, let's see here. Right up here in the right-hand corner that I'm circling around, that's where we're going to be going. Nothing too crazy. Go ahead and head right that way. Uh, the monsters here are actually going to be pretty cool looking. There's a, you know, don't want to spoil it, but there's a grasshopper, there's butterflies, and there's this, uh, really cool, like, ghost mob looking thing. And that's pretty much a lot of cool stuff. There's, you know, of all the monsters that they put in here, it's awesome. I mean, they really did a great job. And then we have the fluffy sheep. I mean, come on. No brutal sheep in this area. It's fluffy sheep. I mean, come on. You gotta love the fluffy sheep. But anyways, right through this zone, you're gonna actually just continue straight up. There's like three beaches. There's also a waypoint that you wanna grab. And basically, we're gonna be able to get that cutscene. It's not even a cutscene. It's just a key item that you need. And from there, we're gonna head back to Octavian for the rest of the quest. The actual last part of the quest is gonna be fun. There's actually a random setup, just like the last portion of the limit breaks, which I yeah, no skill involved, just complete luck. Pull up my map here. I actually already marked it on the map because I went out and scouted out there. We're going right up here into K7 of the hunting grounds. As I said, there's nothing to be worried about. Nothing crazy. It's just all walking. So right around this bend here, we're going to see our first new monster, actually, the grasshoppers. They, I mean, I haven't even fought any of these monsters yet. I just kind of walked by them and were like, ooh, awesome. But, you know, uh, we'll get to that. And I'm hoping, actually, they implement some blue mage spells, which will be fun to hunt. But there they are. They're, they actually even have the jumping in their motion, which is pretty cool. Um, we haven't seen that in a while. Normally they're just laterally moving mobs, but now they actually jump. Kind of scary, actually. So up here on the beach, actually, there's that waypoint marker I was mentioning earlier that you do want to grab. There's also a couple NPCs you can talk to. I did it in the video, but I did before. They don't really tell you anything special. Uh, there's a ghost mob that I was talking about. They look really fun to fight. I mean, minus the fact that they're going to eat your face. And... Everything that I've checked so far is checked tough, which is kind of interesting. It means you're going to need at least a three or four man party, which is going to be pretty fun. I'm probably going to join up with one of my buddies and hunt those out pretty soon. There's that waypoint marker. Go ahead and grab it. As I said in the previous video, those waypoints are really fun. Let's you warp around the area and 
basically just make everything a lot easier. It's uh, it's really nice that they've been implementing these warp things all over the place. Kind of sad that they didn't keep the chocobos, but oh well. There's another random grasshopper. I, I have really no idea. But up here actually is where I do continue. Basically there's another beach up here and you don't need to go to it if I remember correctly. Um, and I'll actually be circling back around. But oh well. Can't do everything perfectly and you know, I'm a player like anything else, you know, we make mistakes. <laughs> Probably would have been better if I just looked at my map to begin with, but hey, who needs maps? Let's just run towards where I think we're going. But hey, at least we get to check out some new monsters and new areas. This is where I actually thought the wildflower was, and you'll see me pull up the map right here and go, oh, wow, it's the next beach. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So we'll go back to that split. Basically, at that split back there, you want to take that left and then circle around. There is nothing special between here and there. You know, a couple butterflies which we'll see around the next corner. Those are actually pretty fun. Uh, I've seen a bunch of fights and other videos of them, and they have some really cool weapon skills. Also, uh, nothing is aggressive, so, you know, feel free to take a look at anything that you see. So far, at least. I mean, I haven't gone too deep into any of the areas. But basically, you want to keep around that right side of the wall. I guess if you were didn't even have a map if you just continued around that right side of the wall you'd eventually loop around here but you know we got the maps so why not use them up here is the wonderful butterflies interesting I'm actually curious to see if they do like an, an NM that's like the boss of the butterflies but I don't know if she'd be like a harpy or whatever but uh I'm, I'm really interested in this I mean I love the mob composition that they put into this. It's it really, you know, it's nothing too special. They're bringing back some of the old mobs, but they're also introduced a bunch of new ones. And you know, I don't know. This this expansion overall has been like really like setting me back. Like I love these new ideas and the new way that it takes it. So there's actually one of the new mobs. I don't think he's aggressive, and actually I ran past him. And, basically poked him on the way back and he didn't attack me so yay he's not like orcs so there's the question mark hit that and grab your key item I will see you guys back in the city so I'm gonna actually cut this portion out of me running back alrighty and I'm back we're back in East Adulin and we're gonna go back up to Octavian to finish up this quest there isn't much left to do. I am going to warn you though, there is a section that is either really frustrating or really easy. Just like the last limit break stuff, you do just have to basically stand there and keep pushing the same button over and over and over. <sighs> Square Enix, come on. You gotta think of something better than this. Make me fight a notorious monster or something, come on. But anyways, go right back up to Octavian and start talking. You already have all the key items, you have all the stuff in your inventory, so he's going to finish up the quest for you. And I just want to comment now on how awesome the room fencer gear looks. I mean, come on, look at his armor. I can't wait to get that. So all you have to do is basically continue pushing the, you know, use the rune, and you're going to finish it up. I will be back once I do it 35 times, but you end up having to do it up to 100, so good luck.
And there you guys are! Congratulations, you can now become Rune Fencers. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, saw everything that you needed to do, and I will be back with my next video of Geomancer. So stay tuned, this is Dacian for Fantasy Revolution Gaming, and I will see you in the game.